live life to the fullest on muscle cars and more. Let's get it. Let's go. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to another episode of Muscle Cars and More. Now, I'm still out here, man, at Strats, man, for the season opener that's going down right now, man, at the Strats restaurant. Now, you can see a little bit right there. That's the sign right there, man. Some good food over there. Now, I just got through reviewing a couple cars but i got more cars to bring you man that's right man this is a car channel i'm at a car event so you know you're gonna get them cars so i'm about to show y'all some of the other rides that's out here and uh we just gonna keep it going man just like that but uh now let me tell y'all a little history about shy inc man shy inc is a national impala club all right they got chapters all over the world and they have big big car club huge car club now i was actually here last year when one of their uh founders came out and i got an opportunity to actually talk to him man and he told me a little bit about uh kind of how the whole thing started and everything and it's it's all about family with them and that's one of the things that i do respect and honor about shy inc man it's real similar to my club the number one stunners that's right man shy inc man you know what i'm saying they are uh, members out here definitely repping, man. So I'm going to show y'all some of their rides real quick, man. All right. I be jabbering a little bit, but it's cool. Y'all don't expect it, man, from me. Yeah. Now here's one of the Impalas. Nice and clean. It's got the, uh, it's a SS, uh, I think it's a 96. Uh, but it's got a tinted front windshield. No, actually, this is a 95. No, the, the difference between the 95 and the 96 is a very, very subtle difference of just literally the shifter being in the center console for the 96 versus being on the column, you know what I'm saying, an old school column where you shift it like this for the 95. So this is actually a 95, and also the 95s have a digital dash opposed to the 96s have an analog dash. But other than that, they're virtually the same identical cars. Now, they both came in the same three colors, if I'm not mistaken, which was the green, bluish green, grayish green, however you might want to pronounce it, the maroon, and of course, the legendary black. But yeah, this is a black example right here. It's got the clean wheels on it. And this is a nice car, man. Now, this is a palette that most people in the shot is going to probably take and turn it into something a whole lot more wilder, man. Because that's just what they do here in the shop, man. They do a lot of wild stuff here in the shop. But, uh, yeah, that's a nice ride, man. I like the tin windshield. What y'all think about me, man, tinting the front windshield on the Hellcat Yellcat, man? I think I should possibly do it, man, because, you know, it look kind of slick. I like it. I like it. But we about to go to another car, man, that's sitting right next to it, which is a G-Body. That's right. Now, this vehicle, I actually owned two of back in the day, man. I had an 83 and an 85. And this is a Monte Carlo SS. Now, this one is sitting on some old school billet specialties, man. Now, I can't remember the name of these rims, but back in the days, these rims was the shit. Everybody wanted them, man, and he actually got them sitting on bowls. It looks like he got the original 305 down in here, which is cool, man. It's good to keep cars factory. Now, this car is probably a project car because he might be taking it to a whole nother level real soon, man. Now, it looked like he maybe possibly have recently uh, did a paint job on it because the paint actually looks really nice. Nice, clean palette. You know what I'm saying? The paint job is real nice on it. Nice white. Now, it is a teep top car, which is real legendary. If you can, you always want to get a teep top car. Uh, the only one that's more legendary than a regular teep top car is the teep top with the aero coupe. Now, if you can find one of those, those are very, very ultra rare and ultra legendary as well. But yeah, I always like the non aero coupe better. But as far as value wise, the aero coupe actually is worth a little more. But yeah, this is raw. Look like he got some stereo stuff going on in the back. Got his bags for his T-tops right there. So yeah. Got the big pipes sticking out the side. 
more shot ink cars. Yeah, that's that. Now with shot ink, man, you don't necessarily have to have an Impala. You can also have a Caprice, man, and hook it up. And that also includes wagons. And I also, also think that also includes, you know what I'm saying, uh, all the body styles of the Caprice this, that was built on this platform from the Cadillacs to the Buicks. And I think Oldsmobile might even did one. But I got my big homie right there, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. He know I had to come out here and support. Yes, sir. We out here, man. Yo, just showing them the showing them the rides, man. You know how we do. It's early. We're gonna get a little more people coming. I already know. I already know. So yeah, we out here, man. But yeah, like I said, man, it doesn't have to be an Impala. It could be a Caprice. Anything that was pretty much built on this platform. So yeah, you will see all different types, man, from the factories. But they all repping the same, man. Shot Inc., man. That's my family right there. Yep, yep. Got another one right here. Uh oh. <laughs> I almost got in trouble. <laughs> yeah, but you can see clean LS right here. This is a 5794. But this is a maroon example of a uh, Impala SS right here. And this is a 96. Now, if you can see in this one, it's got the shifter right there. But yeah. Shot ink, baby. Now, another true fact, man. Your boy Stunna Reese had a 95 of one of these cars for a very, very short time. Uh, I bought the car from the dealership. It was used. It was a, um, I bought it in 96. It was a 95 and I bought it in 1996. Now the car had an issue with it. When I bought it, it kept on blowing head gaskets. There was something wrong with the car. So I actually like only had the car for like a month and it ended up being in the shop like a week after I bought it. They tried to fix it, repair it. And as soon as I took it off the lot again, an hour later, it blew the head gaskets again. So it was something wrong. It was a lemon. And uh, they end up, uh, you know what I'm saying, just canceling the deal on the car. So, yeah. But, yeah, I, I actually had one of these cars in this color, the same maroon. It was a nice car. Now, we got right here, man, a real clean box Chevy. Y'all see this thing, man. Box Chevy's gonna always be legendary. Got a G body cutlass right here. Sitting on some uh, Lexanis. Look like about some 24s. Nice and clean. Yeah, so we're gonna take a look at some more cars, man. They got a dope ass, uh, my man got a dope ass great example right here what's up brother how you doing man all right all right how's it going all right brother. Might I shoot your car yeah do okay you, do you all right all right <laughs> yeah so we got a real nice metallic custom gray silverish color right here with some um really really hot rod looking wheels i like this and i like the hood that he actually put on here it's real unique real different it's functional Oh, is it? It's functional. Okay. It's hood, okay. You mind popping the hood so they can yeah. see? Now you got the custom headlights on here as well. Now most people who put these hoods on these cars, they really not functional, but he said this one is functional. Oh yeah, it is. Definitely. You can definitely see that it's functional so he can get air down onto the LT1 so he can cool it off, man. That's what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? When you got these type of cars, man. I see you got cold air intake on here as well. Any uh, Anything else done to it? Nitrous 150 shot and father nitrous system. Oh, shit. Uh, got it, a big bottle in the trunk, uh, 373 rear end. Oh, shit. Yeah. He ain't playing no games. You might not want to run up on this one with no stock one. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's nice, man. A nice GTO pulling through. That thing is nice. 
Yeah, it looks like you. Arizona Speedway. You got it on Lawrence, Lawrence Springs? Lower than an inch and a half all the way around. Okay, cool. Yeah, it looks real good. Uh, he actually added some updated SS elements on here, which looks really nice, man. That is? Yeah. Paint job is very, very nice, man. Very, very nice. Oh, got the cute little dog in the back. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Y'all good? I'll be over there. And you see, you got the tenant rear tail lights as well. Now, this is a 94. Uh, the way you can tell this is a 94 Impala is because this one little thing right here gives it away from the exterior. Now, with the 96s and 95s, it doesn't have this little plastic cap right here. So, that's the only thing that gives it away. Now, I also got, he also say he got a nitrous bottle in here. And we're going to see just what he got going on in the back. Man. Oh, you do not want to play with him. Yeah, that's a big bottle too, man. That's a big bottle too. And he ain't playing no games. Now he also got the rear um, diffuser. I think that you want to call that that goes off of the rear back Is window as well. Rear Is it the rear window spoiler? Okay. See, I don't even know my terminology is uh, messed up a little bit on certain things, but. It's a rear window spoiler. But yeah, no, definitely a dope car. So any plans on it? Anything extra you thinking about doing to it or is it pretty uh, much wrapped nah, up? No, that's pretty much it. The okay. thing I was gonna do, I was probably looking at maybe later on. That guy right there, you see he's got that Ram Air system on his. I was gonna maybe switch my Ram Air from what I got to his. Oh, okay. I gotta go check direct, that out. Yeah, it's more direct there going into the intake. Okay. So I might get that and maybe go with a throttle body, but outside of that, I'm gonna leave pretty much everything. Okay. Is that the GNX? Yes, sir. GNX. If it's a real deal, that's a yeah. real deal. Okay. Definitely gotta check him out. Yeah. Thanks a lot, bro. All right, man. Hey, what's, what side are you on? Uh, my YouTube channel call, is called Muscle Cars and More. I looked at yours from last year. Okay. I looked at you from last year, yeah. Yeah. I looked at you from last year. They, matter of fact, you the reason why I decided to come out here this year. Oh, really? Yeah, because I looked at it last year. Hey, I appreciate it, no man. Problem. Yeah, definitely. Muscle Cars and More. Yep, Muscle Cars and More. you going to post it? Uh, not too long. Yeah, it'll probably be about a week or less. Uh -huh. yeah, I got a bunch, of, a bunch of videos to do. Yeah, so yeah. Right, All right, man. All right. Yeah, man, so... That's good to know, man. The subscribers, man, support. And uh, they actually came out here because of uh, something that I posted last year, man. But yeah, we're gonna keep moving right along, man. Matter of fact, we're gonna close this video out. We're gonna close this video out, man, and we're gonna get to another fresh one, man, for y'all. So make sure you drop in the comment section right now. And let me know what you think about the cars that I showed you, man. And uh, especially that last joint I just showed you. I think that thing is raw, man. All right, but just like that, man, hit the like button. Definitely, man, share, like, and drop a comment. And also, definitely, man, definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video. It's your boy, Stunner Reese, man, checking out. Let's get to the next video. And I'm out.